Hi everyone. So Christmas is almost upon us, but uh, as is usual, Ready User Magazine is a month ahead. Uh, just received the January 2020 edition, uh, and I thought I'd share it with you. I mean, you guys know that I'm a big fan of this magazine. Uh, anyone involved in radio should be. Um, I write for the magazine from time to time, as you know, and um, yeah, I just think that we're very fortunate to have uh, something in print that supports our brilliant hobby. And um, if you can, if you can afford it, it's definitely worth it. I mean, it's uh, I read it from cover to cover. Well, mostly from cover to cover every month, and um, yeah, it never fails. And Georg, the editor, is a top top chap um, who I've sort of got to know quite well with my kind of peripheral involvement uh, from time to time, writing articles. So January 2020, um, so the, an article here, uh, or the, the first part of a three-part article that I've written appears in January 2020. But before I get onto that, there's a couple of other really interesting things in, uh, in this edition. Uh, to start with, there's a first look at the new uh, RSP DX from SDR Play. And you guys know that I've got one of these. And the, what, what's new about this is that it's the architecture uh, for want of a better phrase, um, in the receiver um, is has been modified, upgraded, so that below two megahertz, you get uh, basically enhanced sensitivity in HDR, uh, in HDR mode, um, high dynamic range mode, and no doubt some of you would have seen the videos on my uh, YouTube channel, Oxford Shortwave Blog, that demonstrate how brilliant. Uh, the new RSPDX is uh, on medium wave frequencies. I mean, it's, it's simply superb. It's at least as good as the ELAD FTM Duo, which costs about four times as much, and it may be better. Um, it's it's so close that I actually need to do some kind of back-to-back -back testing to compare the two, which I will do in 2020 uh, as soon as I can. Um, but uh, yeah, so there's um, there's a whole kind of article on uh, on the RSPDX. Um, I haven't read through it yet because I've li just literally got the magazine, and but I will share it with you guys. Um, and actually, um, there is a little bit of comment from me as well. Georg, uh, uh, interestingly, and uh, well, a very good move, asked for the opinion of uh, those of us that had already been fortunate enough to use this receiver. So there's some comment from me um, on... Uh, on what I think of this uh, SDR, and what can I say? It's uh, yeah, it's, it, it is performing brilliantly well uh, on medium wave, and um, there are several signals I've heard um, with greater strength and clarity than I've ever heard before, and I've also caught uh, two or three PFs already. Um, so no doubt, it's uh, it is a brilliant device and highly recommended. Um, so there's that that you guys can look forward to checking out. But also this month, there's the uh, Radio User Index for 2019. So basically, this is a list of every kind of article, review and feature printed in the magazine throughout the year. Uh, and so there they all are, which is, again, a, quite a useful feature if you if you buy this magazine every month. I have a subscription um, and you uh, want to look back at something. Um, so here they all are. I, I guess, I think this is something they do once a year at the end of the year or the beginning of a, of a new calendar year. So that's also um, uh, something very worthwhile and useful if you're looking back for a particular article. And then coming on to um, onto my article. So um, a few months back, Georg and I were kind of talking about um, new articles for uh, 2020 and um, we decided that uh, a, a series of articles on de-expeditions um, would be well received and of interest to many readers. So the first part of this is de-exing on the move um, based on, on foot effectively. So you know, we all suffer from the uh, ubiquitous electrical noise, electro smog, whatever you want to call it at home. And even with very expensive, sophisticated equipment, um, receivers, antennas, you're kind of limited in terms of signal to noise. And ultimately, signal to noise is what delivers or doesn't deliver DX. So um, the three articles are based around part one, which is DXing kind of on foot. And as you guys know, um, I've spent lot of time in the in the woods near where I live in Oxfordshire um, for a very very quiet listening experience um, and then part two is DXing from a vehicle which is, as you, again you may know that I've 
also spent a lot of time doing that with, and that's actually quite nice, uh, particularly during the winter months because um, the Xing outdoors in cold weather is fun for about half an hour and then your hands and feet get cold and it's just a nightmare. Um, so de from a vehicle is a, is a good alternative and as long as your antenna is away from the vehicle and outside, the, the, the kind of signal to noise that you can expect um, will be equivalent. So, uh, so you know, it was, it's something well worth doing and it also kind of feels a bit safer when you're listening to the radio at three o'clock in the morning um, parked in a car, locked car next to a wood than actually in the middle of the wood and I've done both. Part three, um, and then uh, is the uh, uh, Xing internationally. So that's you know when I go on uh, business trips and on holidays, uh, I take equipment with me. So it's a three-part series. But part one, the Xing on on foot, and um, so that's all about sort of portable radios, basically, and the various kind of antennas that you can uh, that, that are compact enough to uh, to carry out with you. So uh, so that, so this is it. So I hope you enjoy it. And if you don't normally buy radio user or you don't buy it every month, I hope that uh, this article uh, might encourage you to uh, to do so. So uh, so there you go. I thought I would share that with you. So, um, yeah, that's about it. So that's it. Radio user magazine, January 2020 edition. Um, bumper packed with uh, lots of very interesting features. But as I said, um, the article that I've written, I hope you enjoy. And um, there's a very nice kind of introduction to the RSPDX. And anybody that's into medium wave DXing uh, needs to take a long hard look at this uh, SDR receiver because it is superb. Um, I can't I can't stress that enough. It's uh, yeah, just simply brilliant. So anyway, Merry Christmas and um, I'll, uh, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll do another video. I, I, I usually only do a channel update once a year now so uh, and it's, I, I typically do it over the Christmas holidays so I'll do one of those at some point. But uh, for now, I wish you all a very happy Christmas. Thanks for watching.